What's up everybody? Welcome back to my Snapchat. Point of my What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a long time since I posted. There's a reason why. I've been working on something, a little something behind the scenes and that's the whole purpose of this video. I'm gonna show you. It's literally right back here. Um, also, uh, we've also had some things going on within our family and it was basically that my sister got diagnosed with cancer which I will be making a video talking more in depth about that topic because it's, you know, very important. And um, also, I haven't forgot about the Shein haul video for the full bucket outfits. So stay tuned for that as well. By the way, the whole beginning of the video is going to be showing you what it is. And then the ending of the video is going to be like in detail of some of the things in there. Just keep that in mind. Okay, let's get to it. Ta -da! So there's, for starters, my little mat. This is our happy place. And this is my project, guys. This is what I have been working on. This is what has been keeping me busy. Super small, but even though it's small, trust me, I've been so busy working on it with my family members and everything. So it's my lash room. So I do eyelash extensions. Um, and yeah, so I guess I'll do a little quick tour of my lash room. So we'll start off, I guess on this side. So here's my beautiful letters. I did get those at uh, Michael's and I just used mounting tape to put those up there. That was a hassle. Uh, here's the wall, my, my dad helped me with this and a lot of family members helped with this. If I were to name everybody, I'd be here for forever, but shout out to you you know who you are um my bed oh my gosh i took out my ring light oops i'll put it, i'll pop it up right now anyways here's my bed um i did buy this off of walmart actually but they have the same exact one on amazon i have my little pillow there for comfort my blanket for comfort and then this is the wrap it came with um obviously i do want to take it off but given the times you know given covid and stuff i decided not to take it off quite yet but I do have my, like, oh, a little piece right there, I see you. But I do have this here, like, when you go to the doctors, and I do put that up, you know, for safety, cleanliness. Um, my little stool, I did get that from Amazon as well. Then, obviously, I have to get the grass. I don't know, it's just a theme that I felt like incorporating in this, my little lash room. And then moving over here, of a cute little plant to match my fake grass obviously i actually took this from my sister one of her friends gave it to her so if you see this video shout out to you <laughs> and then a cute little candle because it smells so good uh one of my old co-workers gave this to me actually puka shout out to you and then we do have my little my theme over here so every holiday i'm planning on doing something right now where you know spooky season so i have this candies that my siblings keep eating that's why it goes down a little spider and you know a little halloween decor wait for november i'm gonna put a little fall stuff and stuff like that christmas i'll put a little tree and then this cabinet here i actually bought at lowe's it's actually oh don't mind my mess there don't i anyways i bought this at lowe's it actually is a heater let's turn it on there you go there's some fire yeah super cute i don't think i might even end up using it but it's cute all right let's turn that off all right so there's that and um since i did show you the heater obviously it's fair to say i have a cooler or a cooler an ac system up there as well um we might fix that a little bit, just letting you know. And then I didn't even bring up the lights up here, but yes, we have lights there. We have those that focus on the sign. And then the most important thing, oh, and I have a little trash can back there. And like I said, my ring light goes right here. I don't know why I took it out, but I'll pop it back in because it should be there anyways. And now the most important part of this room is my lash cart which i'm probably gonna have to organize a different way now that um 
I have this in here because I didn't have that in here before. But now that that's in here, I can organize some stuff in there. But anyways, let, let me give you a tour. So this is officially technically the end of the room tour. You know what's here. You know what it is. It's a small room. Um, now I'm just going to explain what's on my lash cart for, uh, you know, anybody interested in being a lash tag so you can know a little bit of what that entails. So, and I, I didn't even mention it, but I happen to have this big mirror here. Hi, that's me. Okay, so now let me focus on this. So we're gonna start with the top um, layer. So for starters, the most important is my glue. I do keep them in here because they have to have a certain temperature and humidity. I have two at the moment, so I put them in rice because I, oh my gosh, don't look at my nails. Anywho, I put them in here because the rice does take away some of the moisture and I left one of those packets in there as well, but those are my glues. Um, next up i have this i honestly haven't really needed to use it it's a little mirror i guess i'll open it to show you guys oh, let me see if i can find this up hey guys all right it's a mirror to look at the eyelash extensions from a bottom perspective but i haven't really found the need to use it quite yet i just get up and stare at my clients and um next up are my tweezers i keep them in this pouch it came in a brown bag but i didn't like it because it didn't match you know my aesthetics of the room so i put them in here again don't look at my nails anyways let's open that up those are my tweezers Okay, moving on, the next little container. Oh, by the way, I did get this one off of Amazon. Uh, I think it's called like clear acrylic organizer or something like that. Anyways, moving back here, I do have my nano mister. Yeah, I'm probably gonna edit that out. I do have my nano mister to help set the glue. I have a little hygrometer. I forget what this is called. I think it's hygrometer. Don't quote me on that, but just to make sure my temperature and humidity is on point and I have a sticky note or a little sticker to remind me. So it's actually not ideal 70, that's eh, basically 70 and then 50 to 70 humidity, which is okay. Here I have some tape. Um, I use this to usually stick up, I think it's called micro, dang, I should have Googled this but before I told you guys, I really, I'm blanking right now. But anyways, I use this to hold up the eyelids sometimes because um, we do tend to have extra skin to help me keep it open. This to help me um, take down the eye patches I use on the lower lash line. Uh, this is just a an extra container of these. This is my jade stone. I put, usually you can't put the glue directly on it, but I like to put some of this tape right here and then I apply it on here and put the glue on. This is just another one in that package so there's that uh, back here i do have my fan after i apply my lashes i do blow on my customer's lashes in this little container back here i do have a pair of scissors sometimes i need to cut the gel pads or tape that usually gel pads not the tape the tape usually cuts itself on those little things a pen for lash mapping obviously a tweezer in case I need it and then these little things come with the glue in case it gets clogged um I can't even take it out but in case it gets clogged you put this on the top to like help poke a hole through it to unclog it that's all that is you can see in there it has a little needle okay moving forward so in this one I do have a lash sealer I have a eyelash extension remover I have a primer and I have a lash shampoo. Uh, next container over here, another acrylic organizer, obviously off of Amazon. Keep it closed for cleanliness. My first one are obviously these. I use this not just for glue, actually. I use it to hold my primer when I apply it to the eyes. Um, these are my lipstick wands, I think they're called, this, this container on this side. And um, those I usually use to apply the gel remover to remove eyelash extensions. These are my micro swabs. I usually use those to apply primer to the eyes or sealer because they're tiny and they get in there. And then obviously the last one are the little mascara ones to brush through, again, all white to match my aesthetic. And then back here, I do have 
hydro eye patch hydro gel eye patches and um, obviously these are to hold down the bottom lashes on a customer so that the top ones don't get glued onto the bottom there's that moving down here um these are just some of the lashes i have right now uh all of these are lash trays they're some of them are pre-made fans like this one look pre-made fans and then some of them are not pre-made fans like this one here you get the deal the point is that they're lashes all types of lashes there we go classic back there we have more trays of pre-made fans you can see Okay, you get the point, and then a little mirror. Hey guys, what's up? Okay, there's that. And then back here, this is my trick. So I ran out of those tissues, but I use, they're like dental bibs. Um, they hold water. I put them in there and I usually grab one, set it here when, I'm, when I have a lash customer. I set it up here and I put all the tools I'm gonna use. And then at the end, when I'm done with the session, I wrap it up and throw it away. It's super easy. And then here I have tiles. Literally, you could buy them at Home Depot. They're great for positioning stuff like these directly onto those because of the way, you know, the way it works. And then lastly, something I'm completely proud of is this. I did find it on Amazon. You can see that one's sticking because I didn't have it there originally, but the bottom ones are perfect because they were always there to begin with. Um, this is perfect to hide your lashes away from dust and you know to keep, keep them clean and then on top of it Just look at it. It's so cute. It's aesthetically pleasing and matches my decor. I, I love it. Oh and to open it I guess I'll show you You just slide this up and whatever tray you need say I'm working with these Then voila, there you go and then these, since they are light, that's one uh, con I don't like, but I'll just grab this whole tray and I'll tape it onto one of these since it is heavy and I'm going to be working with it, making fans, you get the point. Okay, let me put that away so we can move on to the next thing, which I'm almost done, so this might be a shorter video than I thought. So here are the rest of those dental bibs I was telling you about. Um, water resistant. I cut those and put them in there for quick use. My um, hand sanitizer, obviously you need hand sanitizer before every client, before touching anything on my car, before filming this, I actually put some on. And um, back there, I do have some face masks. And this happened even before COVID. This is because the glue we use does have fumes and to protect our, myself, I do have some back there. This is my barbicide. This is where I put my tweezers to disinfect. Uh, the actual container is back here. You can see it right there. And this is just where I clean them. I do have some sanitizing or disinfecting wipes because you know, you have to clean down everything. And back there i just have an extra roll of tape that i don't want to put up there because i don't want it to look crowded here i have some uh i forget what these are called anyways i use those for lash baths um some customers ask for lash baths so i use that with the water and you get the point i do have some tissue back there and then lastly that's on this car is um that i don't want to take it out but it's basically just a headband that has a magnifying glass on it in case some of the customer's lashes are too small for me to see obviously i put it on to help ease the process but yes that is my lash car tour and um that about wraps up this video i guess i'll put my lash let me put my ring light real quick so you guys can see the full picture Okay, I just put on my ring light just so you guys can see realistically what it looks like. So I just sit there, obviously position, and I have my little ring light over my client's head so I can easily see their lashes and be able to lash them properly. And that's about it in my room, guys. The only thing I forgot to mention is that these lights are dimmable. Uh, when I finish a lash set, I tend to put my lights down for my customers. That way when I tell them to open their eyes once again, it's easy for them to adjust to the light. Obviously, I would turn that light down as well. But you get the point. It's a dimmer. You know how they work. And um, that about covers it. If you have any questions or if you want to know where I got anything that I didn't quite mention in this video, 
leave a comment down below and I'll try to answer to all of them. And um, I forgot to mention, if you are from Anyang, California or Pittsburgh, California, and you do want me to lash you, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'll drop it down below or right here, actually, on top of my hand. Yep, okay, so go follow me. That's it. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on your post notifications for when I post my next video. Bye, guys.